different position Kirby and Hello Kitty is the question. Am I just gonna, should I just like put Kirby up here and then Hello Kitty can just like sit <laughs> on my lap? If I cross my legs, it looks more proper. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Greetings. Here's a question for all of the people out there who enjoy obscure characters. Have you ever liked them so much that you base your presentation on them, go scouring the internet for every single piece of merchandise that you can possibly find, only to purchase things that you do not need, and eventually get so desperate that you learn how to make plushies so you can hold them in your hand? Can't relate. A little bit of a background. My name is Cupid and I run this channel, Cuppy Fox, or, you know, if you knew me by my previous name, no you don't. And I do actually have a bit of a story about this exact topic. If you haven't noticed, I like Serpico from Berserk. A lot. Shock of all shocks, I know. While he isn't exactly the most obscure character ever, not enough people care about him to actually make merchandise out of him that you can buy <laughs> easily in the United States. And one of the only pieces of Serpico merch that I've ever been able to find online was an acrylic charm that I found on a site primarily for doujinshi manga and like other fan creations that could be listed under doujinshi. And I went through a shopping service to get him because I was incredibly desperate. Shout out to that $40 shipping and service fee. And I love him. I carried him around with me pretty much everywhere until he found his place in my eat -a bag finally. And now I still carry him around with me everywhere because I take it everywhere because I want to show him off. And that was the point that I questioned. Why haven't I tried to make acrylic charms? In truth, it had been something I'd thought about before, but I've always been a little bit too intimidated to go through with it. Like, how do I know which glitter to choose? How do I know which class I want? What if something gets lost in translation when I talk one-on-one -on -one with the supplier? and I tend to have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> so that's where today's sponsor, Vograce, comes into play, or over here, maybe. I think I have more space over here. Vograce is an online manufacturer that prints acrylic charms, but that's not everything that they do. In fact, their library of products is pretty much endless. Just to list a few things off, they can make stickers, pillows, standees, and even products that light up, which is very interesting. They contacted me about a month ago asking to partner up with me and my channel, and the person that I talked to called me cute, so I think they liked me. I had already previously heard about them, which is something that I'll get into in a second, um, so I figured why not? Why not give it a shot? They decided to clean the carpets outside today. I'm very sorry if you can hear that. I whipped up some designs of Serpico and his sister Farnese, and I decided to get two inch acrylic charms of each character. Yeah, I can see what my mic is picking up from my computer, and um, I'm very, very sorry. Hello, um, I do apologize for the mic quality on both my camera recordings and the screen share. Um, for some reason, my old mic has just stopped working entirely, so... Um, we're gonna have to deal with what we have for now. <laughs> I'm gonna show you around Vograce's website a little bit. One of the first things you are greeted with on their website is a very interesting feature, and that is the low minimum order quantity, or MOQ. But basically, this means that you don't have to order in bulk when you place an order with them, which is perfect for the situation that I described earlier. You can just encapsulate a single image of your little guy with an acrylic and keep them forever. When you start scrolling through their library of products, especially the custom keychain section, it can seem a little bit intimidating, so I'll show you some examples of what they have from what they've sent to me. From the examples, here's a basic acrylic charm, a wooden charm, a lollipop charm, which conveniently doubles as a sample for the colorful charms as well, and two 3D epoxy stickers. As you can see, the quality of their printing is pretty high. I tend to notice that with the acrylic charms, they're printed less saturated than the wooden charms, but as a result, they retain a lot more detail. So it balances out like PEMDAS. For an even brighter charm though, be sure to peel the sticky film on the acrylic charms, and here is me doing that very badly. But again, this is just what they've sent me. They have so many more options than this, and today I can just show you how I put together the Vandemian siblings. I went for a custom holographic keychain because I'm just personally more partial to it, 
And from here you can choose the type of sparkle you want in it as well as if you want it double sided and then the clasps that you think would look the best with it. You can also order these clasps separately if you want to switch out an old one you have as well. Now you can upload your artwork. As far as I know, a PSD works best, of which you can export a drawing as from pretty much any art program that has layers. You might also want to work in CMYK instead of RGB, which in Clip Studio Paint you can access from the view menu all the way at the bottom. Name your artwork the amount of pieces you'll be ordering. For example, I ordered this many of Serpico, so the file name looks like this. Once you upload your artwork, that's pretty much it. You're ready to check out. From my own and others' experience with the company, if something is wrong with your order, they'll email you and let you know with an order sheet like they did with Riley's, and I got permission from Riley to show this, don't worry. Then the next step is to... Uh, wait! Yeah, um... I won't lie, the shipping takes a really, really, really long time, but this isn't really Vogue Race's fault necessarily. Before they contacted me, I had actually bought another set of charms from them and it still isn't here, so that was over a month ago. But again, this isn't really their fault. I am someone who's very used to shopping from Taobao, Taobao resellers, and if you don't know what that is, um, maybe a closer comparison would be like AliExpress. Essentially, the package is just kind of stuck in customs limbo trademark symbol <laughs> until USPS decides to get it on track to you, which for a third time, full disclosure, is not their fault. You just have to be very prepared when ordering to wait a long time. And well, that's about it. And just for reference, these are what I ordered from them. Look, they're double-sided. Bernese is, is scared on this side, and also scared on this side, but she has a different expression. And then Serpico is happy on this side, but he has his eyes open on this side. Very intimidating. So, yeah. Thank you so much to Vogue Race for supporting me and my channel. And maybe I'll make more videos like this if the opportune provides. Um, like live action videos. I like sitting in front of a camera now. I'm getting more comfortable with it. And I will... See you then, I suppose. I got all dressed up for this video and it's way too hot outside for what I'm wearing. So as soon as I turn this camera off, I am going to discard this heat death trap that is this knit <laughs> cloak. <laughs>